Your offering pleases me. The warm blood was sent by those who honor and protect this veil. Most curious. Every path leads in two directions, into light and into darkness. Light and dark, good and evil, sunlight and shadow. Two sides to all things, little warm blood. S let me show you. The warm blood is skillful and cunning. The Marbrigash must make their own choices. Connect with the world outside or remain isolated. It is never only light or shadow. As long as they honor my kin and I, they are free to do as they please. Some can stay isolated in the veil, or some may choose the outside world. Two sides of the same path. The merchant's presence has already changed the veil. What happens next is inevitable. I am the ghost snake. I am both constant and ever-changing. One thing to you, another perhaps to the Marbrigash. Aid the Marbrigash as you will. The choice is yours to make. I can send you back to the Farseer. She waits for you at her tent. walked the coiled path and survived? Has the ghost snake spoken? 
Ghost Snake is wise, but inscrutable. I had hoped he would demand that we bring the merchant to him. It's no coincidence that you arrived at the same time as the merchant. You are bound up in this. You must help us decide. I crafted a snake totem representing the entwined fates of the Mabrigosh and the merchant. Get it from my tent. I will have the merchant brought here. A decision must be made. Our fate depends upon it. Now you must choose. If the Mabrigash are to remain isolated, place the totem in the fire. If we are to change our ways and trade with the Hlalu, give the totem to the merchant. He will remain in the Vale, serving the Ghost Snake. I know only that it will change us. Whether for good or ill, only time will tell. Seek guidance where you would. Speak to my people, the merchant, or even the merchant's assistant if you wish. But then you must choose. Watch your step among the Mabrigash outsider. Bah. Rastan claims things won't change, but I don't trust him. If you ask me, the Hlalu are just one step above thieves. If it were up to me, Rastan would have quietly disappeared the first night he arrived here. But you're the one making the decision, not me. I'm a respected House Hlalu merchant. How dare they treat me this way? So they treat me like some sort of criminal? I've been nothing but respectful, and trade would help them. Of course I benefit, I'm a merchant. Trading is what I do. How about this? Propose a limited trade agreement on their terms, and I'll agree to keep other traders away from the Vale. I'm surprised that a man could see the Ghost Snake and live. At first, I just wanted the merchant to go away, but I've been thinking, perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to deal with the outside world. No, many are set in their ways and fear change, but if we're cautious, we may benefit in the long run. I've spoken to some of the Marbragash wise women. They've been perfectly polite. I've been on the receiving end of Rostin's vaunted charms a time or two. I'm not surprised he managed to offend every woman in the Vale. I wonder if the Farseer would consider another option. I don't wish Rostin ill, but I have an idea. They let Rostin live, as long as he promises never to speak of the Vale or return here. Then they sign a trade agreement with me. They deal with me, and I keep other Halalu traders away. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Everyone wins. Rastin doesn't end up as snake food. I gain prestige among the Halalu, and Mabragash can limit the amount of influence the outside world places on the Vale. Our fate rests in your hands. By your next action, our fate will be sealed. If the Mabrigash are to grant access to the Vale, give the totem to the merchant. If we are to remain isolated, tending the Vale without outside interference, burn the totem in the fire. This is madness! What kind of people are you? I demand to speak to the man in charge here. It is done. Your choice satisfies me. 
Roston will serve the Ghost Snake well. You have my thanks for your sage counsel. Thank you. 